Uh, we have three very special guests here with us today from the NDP. Uh, we have Ontario NDP leader Andrea Orwa, MPP of London Pancha Theresa Armstrong, and MPP of London uh, West Peggy Sadler. Uh, they are here with us today to celebrate the passing of Bill 23, where our very own Theresa Armstrong introduced the bill and her leader Andrew Horwa led the way in declaring this October Islamic Heritage Month in Ontario. When you see the three ladies outside in the lobby uh, after Salat, please thank them for all their hard work in passing this bill. That being said, and on behalf of the Ontario NDP, their leader Andrea Horwath would like to say a few words on this great success uh, that they have accomplished in fighting Islamophobia. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Good afternoon, everyone. I'm truly honored to be here with Teresa Armstrong and Peggy Sattler just to say a few words. Um, as this bit has been described, it has been our honor over the last number of weeks to present the bill in the legislature to make October Islamic Heritage Month uh, a couple of weeks ago and then to work uh, to make sure that that bill became law in Ontario uh, before this month was complete. And so I want to congratulate particularly Teresa Armstrong for having uh, started doing that work and uh, very, very proud of all of the, of all of the, uh, the of all of the um, MPPs in the legislature because every single party uh, actually supported the bill and we're now pleased to be able to celebrate uh, Islamic Heritage Month in this province. Uh, look, I think that people uh, would agree that regardless of uh, anyone's background, we have to do everything that we can as, as people uh, together to make sure that we have a province that we're all proud of, where everyone can live and thrive and have a good life. Uh, at a time when we're seeing uh, a rise in, in hate uh, around the world and, and particularly uh, the worrisome activities that we've seen happening in our own province. I'm from the city of Hamilton. Uh, we've seen in my city uh, oh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, our mosque, one of our mosques, uh, was uh, attempted to have a fire set. There was an attempted arson at uh, one of our mosques in Hamilton. Uh, in many communities around Ontario, as you all know, we see women wearing hijab uh, being attacked uh, and, uh, and harmed uh, for simply wearing hijab. That is not acceptable behavior in this province, and that's not the kind of Ontario that any of us want to live in. So when we started talking to some Muslim leaders in the GTA uh, about what could we possibly do to start building more bridges and creating opportunity for more education and for more connectivity uh, with the Muslim community and uh, other people in this province, uh, this idea of uh, the Islamic Heritage Month came up. Uh, and so we ran with it because we realized that although it's a small step, it's an important step. It's an important step to break down barriers and to make sure that people in Ontario understand the amazing contributions of the Muslim uh, people, Muslim communities uh, in every part of our province. Uh, and whether it's the leadership that you provide in so many areas, uh, arts and sciences and healthcare, uh, and community, whether it's the, the work that you do uh, in terms of the, uh, the charity work that you do, not only for your own uh, people, but for the people in, in community overall. I mean, we know uh, that uh, in practice of your faith, uh, you do a, a great deal to help others. And in fact, when you link, look at the New Democratic Party, you'll hear us talk about things like social democracy, social justice, sharing, helping each other, uh, making sure that everyone uh, is able to share in, in prosperity or in, uh, in the, the gifts of, uh, of this world. These are very similar values to, uh, to the, ones, the ones that you have. And so when I think of, for example, uh, your practice of zakat, uh, I think about uh, some of the values that New Democrats have, and I, I know that we have a lot in common. So I'm, I'm really pleased and proud to be here with, with Peggy and, uh, uh, and with um, Teresa, because we really do believe that this province can be a place where everyone is able uh, to have opportunity. It can be a place uh, where we're all contributing uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the well-being of each other. Where, where no matter where you're from, no matter what your background, no matter what your faith, uh, that we are all able to live in, in peace and in prosperity. And that's our goal as New Democrats, uh, absolutely. We want to make sure that we have a place uh, in this province or a, 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 an environment in this province uh, where, where Muslim children not only 
feel like they belong, but know that they belong. And that's our responsibility as political leaders and our responsibility collective, collectively as community leaders. Uh, and so I think that in, in closing, I, I just want to say that uh, we know that the passing of this bill was something, but we know it certainly is not everything. And uh, as New Democrats, my team uh, is certainly going to be spending as much opportunity as we can uh, to ensure that we're doing our part uh, to uh, eradicate the ignorance that leads to hate and fear and make sure that, uh, that, that the Muslim community uh, is, uh, is not only feeling welcome, uh, but is feeling respected uh, and a part of Ontario. Uh, and no matter what you do, and no matter where you go, uh, and no matter um, who you're spending time with, the bottom line is we all belong uh, together, and we can all make Ontario a better place if we make the commitment to do that together. So thank you very much for your time, and, then, and enjoy your worship service. Thank you very much, Andrew, Teresa, and Peggy. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Zach, I'll